take a look at our review of optimization. Of course, this is an Algebra 2 topic, so you haven't seen this in a couple of years. So let's take a look. The first one says, find two positive numbers such that their product is 192, and their sum is a minimum. Now, this is what we're trying to solve for. So I write that down first. I'm trying to find a minimum value, okay? A minimum value. So I need the sum of two numbers. Well, since I don't know what their numbers are, I just make them up. X plus Y. <coughs> now, the sum here is going to be a minimum. Now, if I add X plus Y, I get a minimum value. Now, I take a look at something I already know as well. And they tell me I have two positive numbers such that their product is 192. So if I add them, X plus Y, I get some sort of number here. That's going to be the smallest number possible. But when I multiply them together, I get 192. And what we're going to do is just very simple, is we're going to solve for one of our variables here. So I might solve for y. y in this case is going to be 192 over x. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my what I just solved for, my y, and I plug it into what I'm trying to solve. So I get this new equation. It's going to be x plus 192 over x. Once you get to this point, now, to solve this by hand, we need calculus. We're going to talk about this later on. But to solve it with algebra 2, all you're going to do is just graph it on the calculator. So I'm going to take my calculator. In this case, I got an 84. You will be able to use an 84 for the test. Clear out everything. Second plus 7112. Reset it. Go to y equals. I just type in my equation. x plus 192 divided by x and I'm going to graph it. Now, if you notice, I don't really see anything, so I'm going to play with my window a little bit. My x min, that can be 0 since I'm looking for positive. My x max, I might go up to 20. My y min, again, it's going to be positive, so I don't need that, that so I'll keep that 0. My y max, I might make it 100. I don't know. So I'm going to graph it again, and up oh, there it is. Ah, now if you notice, it goes down and then it goes back up. So my minimum occurs somewhere around right here. So to find the minimum, I'm going to go second, calc, so second, calc, minimum. That's number three. Now it says give me a left bound. So I'm just going to pick a number I know is to the left of where I know my minimum is going to be. And in this case it picks ten, and that's fine. I might pick zero. Because uh, I might just use my uh, x, my x min and my x max, my window. So my right bound, now i got to pick something I know is to the right there. I might pick 20 because I went all the way out to 20. I hit enter for guess. And look up, there it is. So it gives me an x value of 13.856. Now be careful. That is not your actual y value for the equation. That's actually what the... the sum is going to be. So to get my y value, I go back to here. Take my 192, I divide it by the 13.856. So I take 192, so quit, take 192, divide that by 13.856, and look, again, I get 13.857, but it's really supposed to be a 6 because we're just rounding, so my two numbers are both 13.856 x and y. And there's our answer. Now the next question deals with a rancher. Now a rancher has 200 feet of fencing in which he wants to enclose two adjacent rectangular corrals as shown. Now on your, on your notes, I have it shown for you. The question is what dimension should be used so that the enclosed area will be a maximum. So what I got to do is I'm going to draw my corral here. You already have a picture of it. There it is. Two enclosed. Looks something like this. Now, I have to give dimensions for this. I'm looking to enclose to maximize area. So I'm looking to maximize area. So I need an area equation. So I'm going to come up with some variables. I might call this whole length down here L. I could do individual Ls, but that's going to hurt us when we get to a, a certain part here. It makes it a little bit harder. This right here, well, if that's the length, this must be the width. So how do I get the area? Ah. Huh. Area is length times width. It's a rectangle. So that's what I'm trying to maximize here. This is what we want to maximize. 
Now, the, if I wanted to use L and L for both of these, it would just be 2LW. Same idea. You'll get the same answer. Now, I need to find the equation I want to know. See, I can't solve for this right now. Too many variables. So I need another equation to help me replace something. And from that, they give me perimeter. They tell me the perimeter is 200 feet. He has 200 feet of fencing. And the perimeter equation, very simple, be careful, perimeter is the sum of all the sides. We have two L's, one down here, one up here. And how many W's do we have? Three. One, two, three. So it'll be 2L plus 3W. Now we also know that the perimeter is 200 feet. So I can say this 200 equals 2L plus 3W. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I know and solve for one of the variables. Solve, in this case, L will be easier to use. So if I solve for L, I get 2L equals 200 minus 3W divided by 2. That's just 100 minus 3 halves W. And I take this number and I plug it in for the L up here in my area. And that gives me my new equation. Now we're going to be doing all of this. Now later on in calculus we're going to be doing all the same stuff. The only difference is when we get to a new equation we actually solve it by hand versus on the calc we're going to use the calculator right now. So this becomes 100 minus 3 halves w times w. And if you notice this is going to be a parabola. We know that because if I distribute the w's. So when I go to my y equals clear out everything second plus 712 just so you don't have to worry about anything like anything that's holding over. Go to y equals, type in your equation, 100 minus 3 halves w, we use x in this case, times x, or w. Graph it. Now you're not going to see anything right away because we haven't messed with the window. So I go to my window, I don't need 0. My maximum length, I don't know what it could be. I might type in a bigger number, maybe make it 50, I don't know. My y min, I'm talking, now remember, this is my area equation. Area can't be negative. So for my area max, my maximum area, well, I'm looking at 200 feet of fencing, so 10 feet might not be enough. I might make that 200 feet. And I hit graph. Ah. Still not enough. Let me make sure I got the right equation here. So my window obviously needs to be bigger. Let's make this 100 and maybe make this... A thousand. I'm just going to play around. I don't know the answer. I'm just going to play around with it. There it is. So somewhere between here and here, my maximum occurs. So I might just change my maximum, my y max. Maybe make it 1,500. Not 15,000, 1,500. Still can't see it. Change my window. You don't actually have to see it to answer the question, but it kind of helps. That's where my maximum area occurs. So what do I do? Second calc, but this time I hit maximum. Go to number four, find the maximum, and I might just go from zero, my, my left bound, I might just use my window from zero to 100. Zero, my right bound, remember my, I'm just going to use my window to 100. Hit enter, guess it, and there it is. So my width is 33 and one-third. That's W. To get L, we go back up here. It's 100 minus 2 thirds, 33 and 1 third. And I don't know what that is, but it's okay to leave your answer like that. Don't ever simplify. Leave. If you want to simplify, you can. I wouldn't I would do that one because of the fractions. It does turn out nice, though. Okay. So what I want you to do before we go on to the next one, take a look at these, and we're going to do this last question right here on, uh, on another video. So make sure you go look at that video as well.